Anselm's Postlogium, or Discourse on the Existence of God. God is life, wisdom, eternity, and every true good. Whatever is composed of part is not wholly one. It is capable, either in fact or in concept, of dissolution in God wisdom, eternity, etc. are not parts, but one, and the very whole which God is, or unity, or unity itself, not even in concept divisible. And lo, again confusion, lo, again grief, and mourning meet him who seeks for joy and gladness. My soul now hope for satisfaction, and lo, again it is overwhelmed with need. I decide now to, to feast, and lo, I hunger, mo I hunger more. I try to rise to the light of God, and I have fallen back into my darkness. Nay, not only have I fallen into it, but I feel that I'm, I am enveloped in it. I fell before my mother conceived me, truly, in darkness. I was conceived, and in the cover of darkness I was born. Truly in him we all fell, in all we all, we all sit, in him we all lost, who keeps easily and weakly lost to himself and to us that which when we wish to seek it we do not sow when we seek it we do not find when we find it is not that which we seek do thou help me for thy goodness sake lord i saw thy face thy face lord will i seek Hide not thy face far from me. Psalm chapter 27, verse 8. Free me from myself toward thee. Cleanse, heal, sharpen, enlighten the eye of my mind, that it may behold thee. Let my soul recover its strength, and with all its, its understanding, let it strive toward thee, O Lord. What art thou, Lord? What art thou? What soul my heart, my heart conceived thee to be? Assuredly, thou art life, thou art wisdom, thou art truth, thou art goodness, thou art blessedness, thou art eternity, and thou art every true good. Many are these attributes, my straitened understanding cannot see so many at one view, that it may that it may be gladdened by all at once. Now then, O Lord, are thou all these things, are they parts of thee, or each, or each one of this greater the whole which thou art? For whatever is composed for parts is not altogether one, but is in some sort plural and differs from itself and either in fact or in concept is capable of dissolution. But these things are alien to thee, than whom nothing better can be conceived of. Hence, there are no parts in thee, Lord, nor, nor are thou more than one, but thou art so truly a unitary being, and so identical with thyself, that in no respect art thou unlike thyself, rather thou art unity itself, indivisible by any conception. Therefore, life and wisdom and the rest are no parts of thee, but all are one, and each of these is the whole which thou art and which all the rest are. In this way, then, it appears that thou hast no parts, and that thy eternity, which thou art, is nowhere, and never a part of thee, or of thy eternity. But if we were, thou art as a whole, and thy eternity exists as a whole forever.